Hey guys, this is Tamara with Anchor Fitness Studios. And if you're watching this video, it's because you've signed up for our high intensity interval training classes. So this is gonna be a little bit of a tutorial on how to come in, get started, get signed in, what to expect, how to use some of the equipment. So you don't come in feeling uh, nervous or unsure about what you should be doing. So the first thing you're gonna do when you come in the door is you're gonna um, set your things down over here. We've got a seating area. And then you're gonna come up to the iPad and get signed in. So you're gonna hit sign up for classes and I'll just choose this class. Um, it's gonna search to see if you have your own device, but like a heart rate monitor. Um, but you can go ahead and either, if you're gonna borrow a sensor, go ahead and hit borrow sensor. And we've got a heart rate monitor here set up. So you're gonna grab a strap and a sensor. You're gonna clip that on to the strap. Clip, clip. And then I'm gonna tell it I'm using sensor one. And if you have a Polar account, you're going to put in your email. If you don't, you have this create new Polar account here. And just requires a little bit of information. It shouldn't take more than a minute to fill out. Name, you know, email, password, uh, date of birth, height, and weight, and that kind of thing. You're going to create a Polar account. And then you'll be signed in. If you do have a Polar account, and you only have to do that one time, um, after you have created your account, you can just use your email and hit sign in. It's a really quick way to get started. So once you've done that, you're all signed in for the class, and you'll go ahead and just put your heart rate monitor on. It does need to fit um, right below the chest area here. It needs to be touching skin. So you'll go ahead and get that put on, um, and then you'll be all set to get started. You'll have 10 minutes at that point to get warmed up, like a functional warm-up. Put your things down, maybe get your shoes on, um, and do any stretching or warming up that you want to do, air squats or whatever you feel like you need to do. Um, at 10 after the class, or 10 after the hour, I should say, um, the instructor is going to start your warm up on the cardio equipment. So, um, de depending on how many people are in the class, you're either going to get on a bike or get on a rower for your cardio warm up. Either one is fine. Um, if you approach the bike and you feel like it's going to be too tall, if it's not hitting you right here, like kind of at the bottom of the pocket, um, lower hip area, then you're going to want to adjust it. You're just going to turn the uh, knob to the left until you can pull it out. Once you can do that, it'll slide up and down and you can just get it in the hole that you'd like it in and turn it back to the right. And once you get on the bike, it's pretty simple to get started. You're just going to start pedaling and pumping with those arms. So that's the bike. Um, if you're not on a bike, you're going to be getting on a rower. The first thing I want to do when you approach the rower is check the resistance. Um, you'll, usually for a warm-up, I like to have it in the middle. Five or six is probably fine for your warm-up. And then you'll just take a seat, slide your feet into the straps, tighten them down nice and firm, and grab the handle. Once you're sitting up nice and tall, you're going to push back with your legs, follow with the arms, and just find a nice steady rhythm with your rowing. So you definitely want to start out at an easy to moderate pace and then you can increase the intensity as you go along. When you're done rowing, you're just going to lock the handles back in, push out on these plastic pieces here and bring your toes up and out of the stirrups. Um, if you'll notice on the screen, back on the screen, you've got, um, this is your overall time that you've been working. This is your split time, so that's how long it would take you to go 500 meters. This is how many meters you've actually rode, and this is your strokes per minute. So, just so you understand what you're seeing on the screen. Um, the workout that you'll be doing for the day, the instructor will tell you what the workout is gonna be and how to do it, but it will also be written on the mirror here in front of each working station. So, you shouldn't have to wonder which move is coming up next. Okay, so that's it on the cardio machines. Um, and once you are logged into the class with your heart rate monitor on, um, your heart rate should be showing up on the screen. And uh, that's gonna be a great way to just um, watch how you're performing, obviously, and compete with yourself, but also to compete maybe with other people in the class. Um, we will be uh, coming up with a reward system based on how, who's burning the most calories per week. Um, so you'll be earning you know, stuff that we're gonna give away for free, some hats and shirts and gear and stuff like that. Um, so that'll be really fun, but it also, Polar also gives like rewards at the end of the class for who um, was, you know, achieving the, the best results and 
Um, they've got a bunch of little fun rewards and stuff that'll show up at the end of the class. And we can also do a summary of your performance throughout the class for everybody to see um, at the end. So that's going to be really fun. Um, I think that's it on the equipment. Um, if you don't want to borrow one of our heart remonteur straps that, you know, are going to be used by other people, so they might be a little sweaty, uh, we will have these heart rate monitors here for sale. Um, it's the Polar A370 if you want to check it out online or check out reviews. Um, I've been wearing mine for a couple weeks now, and I've really liked it. Um, it's a really comprehensive heart rate monitor, so uh, I can tell you more about that if you'd like to know. Uh, but those will be for sale here. As well as you can also buy a strap for yourself, one of the, um, you know, under the shirt straps, if you uh, want to go that route and you can wear it all throughout the day and then you can get feedback um, about how you're performing all throughout your week instead of just at the classes. So there's real, real value to having your own heart rate monitor, I believe. Um, so that's it, I think, on the equipment that we have. Um, I just wanted to mention that if you have purchased an unlimited package or maybe you're using your free session, um, you still need to sign up for your class. So please go to the website or use the link that I posted on my Facebook page to, um, to sign up, choose which class you'd like to come to and make sure that you're registered for that class. It's gonna be really uh, difficult, I think, to do drop-ins. So I'd really prefer not to have people dropping in. Um, but if you could just be signed up ahead of time, that will really make things go more smoothly. Um, if you have any questions about how to get registered for a class, uh, let me know. And if you have any questions about everything, anything that I've said here today or uh, something that I missed, please uh, go to our website at anchorfitnessstudios.com or go to our Facebook page. Shoot me a message. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Um, and I look forward to seeing you, and I hope you have a lot of fun in your class.